Good morning. My name is Jade Ardano. I'm a firefighter paramedic here with the City of Boulder City Fire Department. And today we're going to go through our ladder truck, truck 121. The main purpose of this truck is to is our second out piece of apparatus on all structure fires. Um, as you can tell with the giant ladder on top, it's uh, 75 feet and it helps us reach very tall buildings and uh, other areas that are sometimes difficult to reach with our typical ground ladders that we carry by hand. Some of the main functions in here, as you can see, that we have our on and off switch, our ignition switch, that's what starts the fire truck and allows us to get ready to go on any of the calls. We also have our transmission, just like you would have in your regular vehicles, like your mom and dad would have, that you could put it into drive. That allows us to go forward and backwards and get to the emergency call. Up here on top, we have all the controls for our lights, our warning lights, and our siren. Down here, we have more of the controls for our ladder to be able to put it up and down. Also, uh, generators and, and other controls that we have on the vehicle itself. And of course, the yellow one here is our parking brake. Um, the radio that we talk to dispatch on is over here. That's how we receive our emergency calls, and that's how we let dispatch know if we need more fire trucks, more personnel. These headsets here allow us to not only talk to each other on the inside of the vehicle, because sometimes it can be very loud in here, but also they're connected to the radio so that we can talk to dispatch as well. And they can hear us clearly, we can hear them clearly. The person that typically sits in the seat that I'm in is the engineer. Uh, he or she is responsible for driving the vehicle to and from the emergency, pumping water at the emergency, and operating the ladder on top of the vehicle as well. The person that sits in the passenger seat over here is the captain. The captain is the person that is in charge of all of the personnel on the truck and allows us to, gives us assignments on, on how to accomplish um, mitigating the emergency. The two firefighters would be in the back seats, but all together we work as a crew. So currently we have seven firefighters on shift and that's including the captain. We will have three on our first out engine and we'll also have two people on each one of the ambulances or rescues to go to medical calls as well. It's not necessarily a commercial vehicle because it is an emergency vehicle, but we have to go through an obstacle course forwards and backwards with the vehicle. We have to drive around town, know our streets, where we can fit, where we can't fit, and know how to safely operate the vehicle. That's all on the captain. The captain will assign who he wants uh, to go and do what type of job. And from there, it's uh, some people like heights, some people don't, but um, I'll be the first one to climb up that ladder. I don't mind it at all. All right, some of the other equipment that you can see on the outside of the vehicle here, over on this side up here in the hose bed, we have some three inch hose. That's mainly used for putting large amounts of water onto a large fire. Uh, it can also be used to hook to a fire hydrant to supply the vehicle with water from the fire hydrant. Uh, over here as well we have some even larger hose, some five inch hose that's mainly used to get water from the fire hydrant to the truck. It can also be used in between trucks. All right and in these cabinets here you'll notice we have a lot of our ground ladders. These are the ladders that we typically use on fires um, that we carry by hand and we can lay up against the house or building that, that may be on fire. This cabinet up underneath here has all of the tools we need to hook to the fire hydrant. It has all of our wrenches and adapters so that we can hook the hose to the hydrant and get water to the truck. Some of the controls to help with the ladder as well are here and over there. We have these big pillars that come out of the side called outriggers that help stabilize the truck so when the ladder goes up in the air that the truck doesn't tip over. So it gives it a little bit more of stabilization because we're, we're reaching very far distances with that ladder. Here's where we keep our spare air bottles that we wear on our back to help us breathe air in smoky environments. The air packs that we use currently 
we have the air tank itself which hooks to this backpack and this backpack is able to be worn we also have a little belt to wear as well to help snug this and keep it close to us once the air tank is on air will come through this hose here to this piece which hooks into our mask and that allows us to breathe fresh air when we're in a smoky or hazardous environment here we have the main hoses for the truck these two here are typically used on most of our fires there's 200 feet of hose there and this is the pump panel or the control to get the water that's stored in the tank to each one of the additional hoses that are on this vehicle we have a variety of equipment that, that we can use. We have two different types of saws. We have a standard chainsaw. We also have a giant fan as well. Very powerful fan that we can put in the front door of the house and that blows a lot of air in and pushes all the smoke out. So these are our hydraulic tools or extrication tools. Uh, most commonly people refer to these as the jaws of life. These can be used to lift heavy objects off of people. They can be used to cut apart cars and to force things that generally we wouldn't be able to do by hand. We can cut, we can spread, we have big balloon airbags that are up here. Uh, again, those are used for lifting as well if something is trapped underneath something that's extremely heavy. These are very thin bags that we have and they can slide under and then once we hook the air hose to this they blow up like a big balloon or a big pillow and that helps raise whatever's on that person off so that we can get them out and this is just more places to connect hoses for fires some of these take water in some of them put water out and that's pretty much it on this vehicle other than the giant ladder on top This is one of our rescues, or ambulance, as some people will call it. This is what we arrive to your house with if you're injured or sick. Uh, we carry all sorts of equipment on here, such as you would find in a hospital or doctor's office. We can treat anything from minor bumps and bruises and fractures to more serious health conditions such as strokes, heart attacks, and uh, extreme trauma. The very basics, all of our equipment is carried in these bags so that we can take the equipment to you and not you to the equipment so we can start caring for you at the scene of the emergency in your home in your car out on the dry lake bed all of this stuff is very portable and comes with us and this is our cardiac monitor this does everything from take your blood pressure to measuring your oxygen levels to giving you a tracing of your heartbeat it also allows us to provide electricity to severely sick patients who might need a pacemaker or whose heart rate is too fast or whose heart is not beating at all. We can do all of that with this particular device right here. Uh, these are all brand new for us as well, so we got some nice light equipment. If you're the patient, typically you'll be riding up here on our stretcher uh, with some seat belts. It's the only way that we can seat belt you in back here so that as we're on the way to the hospital, everyone's safe and has a seat belt on. And now, days, thank goodness, we have. Uh, these stretchers that are all hydraulic as well as the lifting device that helps us with longevity in our careers uh, less back injuries less injuries to us and it also makes it a lot easier to move uh, heavier patients or people that are unable to um, help get in and out of the vehicle on, on their own so this is a lifesaver for all of us we just have spare equipment up in the cabinets so if we need to treat more than one patient, say at an emergency or at a car accident, 
we would be able to take care of more than one patient until other fire trucks arrived to help us with that. 